The main character slowly and unsuccessfully opened the door to the spacious hairdressing salon. He was politely greeted by the administrator, who inquired about the record and whether his father had come. The young man looked around, still not believing that he was able to enter here. The young man saw many tools and wondered what he should do now. He was insanely nervous and suddenly thought of leaving now and just saying that he came to see him next time. The man quickly approached the frightened and confused Hong Da Wu, informing him that he could take off his outer clothes and sit in the chair. The main character understood that as soon as he sat down, there would be no way back, but despite this, he still sat in the chair. The young man was very surprised that everything turned out like this, but he could not share anything about it. Sometimes earlier in one of the local cafes, the guy diligently washed the dishes and thought about something of his own. A moment later, the young man froze and thought that he should become neater. The employer approached him and informed him that it is very unpleasant for him to talk about security. But all this is an important aspect. Although the man does not understand the difference in what he walks and how he looks, since he is just washing dishes, but his manager reported that the main character often flashes in the photo on social networks, showing a couple of pictures. After that, he explained that this could affect their reputation. The main character was completely shocked by the photos and comments he saw. The boss promised that this month he would pay him extra if he took care of his appearance, and Hong Da Wu went in search of a transformation. The young man still did not know what to do and where to go, but it was important for him to understand everything and work further in a calm atmosphere. The guy understood that the boss is good and no one offends him, and therefore he did not want to resign, especially since it is unlikely that he will be able to find the same job. The young man began to look for examples of a neat appearance on the internet and thought that a haircut is most likely also very necessary and important. But in fact, it seemed to him that it would be easier to grow his hair, so he did not cut his hair. The main character carefully looked at his reflection and realized that he would most likely have to go to the hairdresser. Watching other people get their hair cut, the man suddenly thought that he hadn't had a haircut in quite some time, and he would gladly have gone for a haircut, but everything was not so simple. His heart beat loudly and quickly. A moment later, Hong Dawu shook his head negatively, thinking that maybe all this time everything has already normalized and he should not be afraid. He quickly took the phone in his hands, decided that he needed to find the most inconspicuous place where there would be no people. A young man almost immediately found a salon for one and noticed that there were almost no reviews, assuming that they had opened quite recently. After looking around, the boy began to look for this establishment, as it must be located somewhere nearby. Some time later, he still managed to find a hairdressing salon and changed the sign because it was too small. The young man sighed nervously and gave himself time to calm down. The main character was distracted from his thoughts by a hairdresser, who called out to him to ask how to cut his hair. The man immediately came to his senses and quickly announced that he just needed a neat and tidy haircut. A professional in his field asked if everything was okay, and the guy immediately confirmed his words, despite the fact that he was nervous. Only now, Hong Da Wu realized that he screwed up because he thought that it would be better without other people, but alone with him only makes him more nervous. The protagonist looked up at the boy who was cutting his hair and examined him carefully. The man looked very handsome and handsome. He looked thoughtfully in the mirror, reported that the young man's hair was much longer at the back than at the front. After that, the master began to cut hair and, in order to at least somehow dilute the situation, voiced his assumptions that most likely his client will grow his hair for a long time and he does not understand why he decided to get a haircut. A young man reported that his hair naturally grows quickly, but his boss asked him to clean himself up. As soon as the hairdresser touched the boy's head, he immediately trembled and hid his head. Covering himself with a cape, Hong Da Wu trembled and quietly apologized for his behavior. The master changed his tone to a sharp one and asked that the client's ego suffer a little. The young man immediately sat down straight, realizing that now he just had to suffer. Noticing this, the hairdresser nodded in approval. He carefully corrected the guy, who continued to tremble all this time. After that, the man asked to relax his shoulders. In the same way, 
he ordered to straighten up by pressing on the neck, and he bent his head down a little. The man picked up a hairbrush and began to wet the client's hair. After that, he straightened the guy's head and started talking to him about the fact that he came without an appointment and he didn't even know his name. The young man squinted and quietly said his name. The master noticed that his client's name sounds like a carrot. He assumed that the main character came to him after work, after which he said that his working day was also over. This made the young man even more nervous, and he started apologizing again. The hairdresser reported that everything was fine, and in fact he himself became interested in working with him. But next time, he asked to make an appointment in advance. Hong Da Wu shuddered at each touch and quietly agreed with the boy's words. The protagonist's nerves were already on edge, and he was clutching his cape with all his might. Noticing this, the hairdresser said that if he is not comfortable, then he should not be silent about it. While the man was cutting hair, the young man still trembled and twitched, but tried to convince the man that everything was fine. Although he himself perfectly understood that everything was definitely not in order with him, he could not do anything about it. The young man was already ready to get up from his seat, but could not, as the haircut was not finished. In fact, the young man was too sensitive to touch, and because of this, he was very worried and felt uncomfortable. It was difficult for him to sit in one place, and he wanted to end all this as soon as possible. The master strictly informed that if the young man twitched, he could accidentally injure him. After these words, the guy immediately sat down and tried not to move. The hairdresser began to cut the hair in silence and decided to do everything as quickly as possible. The man reported that the haircut was over, and all that was left was to dry his hair, and the main character was ready to leave like that. Not listening to the client's words, the master started drying his hair. After that, he took off his cape and announced that everything was ready. Hong Da Wu had tears in his eyes because he was so nervous. The man leaned over and asked if he liked his current hairstyle. After looking at himself in the mirror, the main character was very surprised because he thought that this hairstyle suited him perfectly. After that, he noticed his trembling knees, and the master could not fail to notice this too. The young man immediately tensed his body so that it was not so noticeable. He quickly apologized and ran to the exit from the hairdresser. A professional in his field just stood in one place, not understanding what had happened. After realizing what had just happened, he quietly chuckled into his fist to muffle the sound. Having laughed, the man came to the conclusion that the guy was most likely very tired at work. Having finished his work shift, the foreman went to his things. It was already deep night outside. The main character rushed home and quickly fell down the stairwell. The guy quickly got to his apartment. The young man began to enter the password to get inside as soon as possible. With one deft move, Hong Da Wu opened the door. Running into the apartment, the main character fell on the floor and sat motionless, trying to catch his breath. He was extremely embarrassed after this incident, but it was impossible to turn back time. The young man seemed as if he could still feel the master's touch on the back of his head. The next day, the main character came to work as usual and politely greeted a woman he had known for a long time, and she immediately noticed that he still had a haircut. The young man was embarrassed that someone noticed his changes in appearance. The woman immediately started apologizing for the fact that she puzzled him, but all this was for the benefit of the restaurant, in which they still had a lot of work to do. Their sweet conversation was interrupted by another worker, who happily pounced on the young man, which greatly frightened the woman. The man started to touch Hong Da Wu's hair, cheerfully talked about the fact that he came to work before him. A moment later, he looked at his friend in surprise. The main character asked to let go of his ego and not to do that again. At this moment, another guy approached them, who did not understand what was going on and what was happening here. The young man immediately let the young man go, sincerely apologizing because he had mistaken him for his friend. Da Wu quickly went to his workplace, and the stranger only asked if everything was okay. They got tangled up in the sweater, the guy didn't answer anything, and wanted to return to his workplace as soon as possible. The man remained without an answer, and the reaction of the unfamiliar guy made him feel shocked. Closer to lunch, the restaurant was already full of visitors, from whom there was an incredible noise and commotion. The main character went outside and sat on a bench, thought that it was good that there were many people today, and this would help him not to run into Wu Ri. 
Enjoying the meal, he suddenly thought that the guy was probably not good at it, since out of so many people, he had confused him with his friend. The man approached the young man and took his drink, looked at it with interest, then came to the conclusion that he likes milkshakes. Sitting down next to him, he apologized for what had happened, explained that from the back, he was very similar to his friend. After looking more closely at the guy, he became interested in why he decided to get a haircut. Assuming that it was related to the heat, Da Wu reported that it was the boss who asked him to clean himself up, and that surprised the employee very much. A moment later, he turned to the boss and said that what he was asking for was too much. After that, he turned to the guy and laughed sweetly with him. The young man noticed that they were chatting like this for the first time and decided to introduce himself, but the main character already knew his name. Wu Ri did not understand how the young man knew his name and he only awkwardly said that he is a very popular person and many people know his name. After that, the man reported that he also knows the name of his partner, as he has a very good ear, and besides, he is very curious. The guy wondered how old the main character was, and he told him that he was 23, which surprised him even more because he was younger. The young man asked if he could address him by name and, without waiting for an answer, said that he would be glad if I would address him by name too. The main character crossed his fingers, thinking that today they talked for the first time, despite the fact that they have been working together for a long time. This is the first time I've been working with him to have a drink with someone and get to know each other. He walked along the street and thought about today, but getting closer to the place to which he was heading, the positive mood suddenly disappeared. He was standing in front of the door of the same barber shop where he got his hair cut yesterday. The young man understood that he just needed to go in and pay for the haircut and also return the cape because they could write a police report on him for theft. Opening the door, the guy quietly asked if there was anyone else here. The room was empty and no one was at work. The young man's attention was drawn to his things, which were neatly folded on the counter. Looking around, Dawu decided that if no one was there, he could just take his things and leave. He quickly and carefully reached for things. Suddenly, something scared him very much. Holding up the package above, the guy quietly announced that he had come to pay and returned the items. But as soon as he noticed something strange in the room, he immediately froze in place. A young man decided that it would be better for him to just pick up his things and return home as soon as possible. The master's voice was heard from the room, and he reminded him of the cape, and he became very worried, not knowing whether to explain something. A guy quickly ran past him. The stranger quickly put on a mask and looked intently in the direction of the main character. Da Wu's eyes widened in surprise but he didn't dare say anything. As soon as the man left the barber shop, the young man immediately noticed that his face seemed familiar, and he had definitely seen him somewhere before. The master approached the boy and reported that he had saved him by simply coming. The young man was surprised and did not understand what he was talking about, but the hairdresser reported that this was not just an acquaintance, but rather a stalker. Hearing about the stalker, the young man was very scared thinking that it could be dangerous and it would be better to call the police. But the man only laughed. The hairdresser crossed his arms and seriously reported that lately he had more and more reasons to turn to them. The main character blushed again and reported that yesterday he did not pay. He also left his wallet and clothes, gave him a cape, continued to say that if he returned the item to him, he would be accounted for right away. The young man put the money on the table and lowered his head. A moment later, he mentally thanked God, as it seemed to him that the master did not guess what happened yesterday. The boy's thoughts were interrupted by the hairdresser, who put his hand on his hair. The master remembered the guy's words, that his hair grows very quickly, and noticed that it was already disheveled. De Wu blushed again and was confused. At this moment, the master suggested that perhaps it was necessary to cut the hair shorter. After that, he said that yesterday, it seemed to him that the guy was very nervous, and that's why he had to go round in order to finish faster. Hearing this, the protagonist immediately took a few steps back, not knowing how to react to all this. The young man looked calm. Smiling sweetly, he informed the boy that he should not worry so much because he would not do anything to him. After that, he reached for one of the cabinets. 
Holding out his business card, the hairdresser said that in the future, if he wants a haircut, he should call this number and make an appointment. The man smiled sweetly and said that he would wait for him. The main character was very scared and could not control himself and his actions. The young man decided that he would never come here again in his life. Arriving at work, he quickly washed the dishes, remembering that meeting in the hairdressers, and could not recover. Suddenly, he wondered what was wrong with that guy. In the evening, the service staff was already finishing their work. Da Wu's workplace looked great and clean. He carefully picked up the trash, remembering that they are on the set of a new drama from CVN, which is expected to air on Fridays and Saturdays. Headline star Bei Yoon Woo will star in a new teen drama. Everyone is waiting for an idol to prove himself as an actor. Suddenly, the main character realized that he had already seen him in the coffee shop and recognized him. Realizing that he is a celebrity, the young man's eyes rounded with surprise. Looking at the idol, the young man did not notice that a guy was coming to meet him. He quickly apologized, and in a panic, he tried to keep his white apron untouched by the trash. A moment later, he looked at the dishwasher in surprise, as if he could not believe his eyes. The protagonist quickly covered his face with his hands. At that moment, Wu Ri intervened with them, who did not understand what was going on. The man carefully and intently looked at the guy who had something to do with the ego of his new friend. The young man was surprised that a guy with whom they had only recently started communicating decided to stand up for him. The outraged employee immediately began to break away and make excuses, not understanding what his fault was, since he was not going to do anything. The man immediately pointed his finger at the guy's hair and said that he had chewing gum in his hair. They all panicked, as they did not understand how this could happen and what they should do now. Wu Ri immediately began to help his friend, saying that he would pull her out of her hair. The main character immediately stepped aside said that he would handle the rubber band in his hair himself, but the guys saw that all his demands were even. The chewing gum was too sticky and sticky. Trying to remove his hand, the young man suddenly realized that his hand was still sticking to his hair and looked in fright at the employees who were standing nearby and wanted to help. They left the restaurant. The guys were worried about whether everything was in order, but the main character immediately announced that he would handle this problem on his own. Remembering how his employee was feeling, he thought about the fact that he told them that he would deal with this problem at home himself, but at the same time decided to look for a new hairdresser. But he also remembered how the police were released last time because of his strange behavior and panic when they tried to cut him. Remembering all this, he covered his face with his hands, not knowing what to do now. A moment later, he opened his tearful eyes, and he reached into his pocket, pulling out a business card. After carefully looking at the business card, Da Wu thought about making a decision. The main character was nervous and did not know what to do, and tears welled up in his eyes. Having dialed the number, he asked if he could come over right now. There was only a master in the barber shop who was not busy since there were no more customers. He carefully looked at the time and realized that it was already quite late. He put the phone aside. The young man let out a loud breath, noticed that it was very boring here and there was nothing to do. A moment later, the man turned his attention to the door and looked in surprise. Behind her stood a guy who was already trembling because he was about to get his hair cut again. Sitting down in a chair, he suddenly thought that this was a complete disgrace, but there was no other way out. The master cheerfully reported that on the phone, he did not quite understand what he was talking about, but it turned out that he actually had chewing gum in his hair. The main character sat and fingered his nerves, remembering his words that he would never come here again. After that, he raised his eyes in the direction of the hairdresser, who reported that he had more reasons to laugh. A moment later, the man thanked the guy, but he still didn't understand what was going on and continued to be wildly nervous. The young man did not understand why the guy was looking at him like that. He decided to break the silence and apologized for what happened last time. The master was perplexed and asked what was going on. The young man confessed that he thought that he would not come here again because of that case, but because of this case, only their salon came to mind. The hairdresser was calm and said that he himself had given him this business card, but he did not think, of course, that the chewing gum stuck in his hair would be the reason for the visit the very next day. 
The man became interested in what was happening to the guy, assuming that this was some peculiarity of his body. The guy said that this has been the case since childhood, when he touches his head, although at first he thought that he reacted too sharply to tickling. But since his school years, he could not restrain himself, although he tried with all his might to hide it. But he showed himself not from the best side. He also told everyone. After carefully listening to the guy, the man said that he can consider this feature a violation of his body and vice versa. He likes to easily understand when he will be bad or good. The young man decided to open his face and carefully looked at the master. The hairdresser assumed that since then, no one helped him or interacted with him neither his parents nor his girlfriend. This conversation again made the main character nervous and he quickly said that he lives separately from his parents and has no girlfriend or friends. The master looked at him carefully, realized that he was the first to believe, and told his secret to Da Wu. Hearing this, the main character became even more uneasy. The man waved his cape and said that they should try it. The master warned that he would have to cut his hair shorter today and was worried that his client would be able to endure this time. A young man only asked the hairdresser to be a little lower with him. The man thought about the main character's words and said that he would try. The guy carefully touched the hair where the chewing gum was stuck. After that, he said that perhaps his client became a little more sensitive since that time, and the guy panicked even more and jerked on the spot. The haircut had already begun, and the hair was flying down. The master continued his work, informed that if the young man learns to restrain himself, then maybe everything will pass. The main character tried to hold back even now and not flinch. The man noticed that even now his body reacts strongly. Continuing his work, the hairdresser suddenly realized that in fact, he had given the client his personal number for the first time. And you can say that he was waiting for his call, although he thought that he would not come again. But this whole situation with the chewing gum was strange. The man noticed that the guy was trying so hard that he wasn't even breathing. The master drew the client's attention to the clipper. A young man was interested in what his client thought about this. After that, he took the hair clipper in his hands and turned to Dawu and suggested that he try something. But if it is difficult, then he should tell him about it right away. Before the guy could come to his senses, he panicked again. While the hairdresser was enjoying the haircut process, the young man was completely bewildered and could not come to his senses. He let out a loud cry and bent down. It was difficult for the main character to accept what was happening. A moment later, he covered his head with his hands, loudly asked to stop. The young man's hands were trembling, but he did not say a word. The master carefully watched the boy, but did not interfere for some time. His gaze became more focused and piercing. He leaned next to the main character and offered his help. The man carefully touched his neck, informed that in such a state, he would not even be able to reach home. After that, the master twisted the client's hair in his hands, waiting for an answer. The young man raised his head and carefully looked at the boy, wondering what he could do to help him. The master just let out a loud breath. He stretched out his hand. He said that first he needed to remove his cape. Da Wu opened his eyes, not understanding what was happening, and saw the master in front of him. After that, he suddenly jumped up and opened his eyes even wider. He still sat in the chair and tried to understand what was happening. The main character exhaled loudly trying to recover. A moment later, the hairdresser smiled sweetly and, taking off his cape, announced that everything was ready. The young man carefully looked at himself in the mirror and could not believe that he looked completely different with a new hairstyle. Getting up from the chair, the young man was still looking at himself in the mirror. It seemed to him that this haircut completely changed his appearance radically. Upon realizing this, the main character was very surprised. He quickly jumped down from his seat. After that, he started spinning in one place. A young man quickly jumped out of the room. The master only looked at him, realizing that this had already happened before, and now he is haunted by a feeling of déjà vu. Only this time the money and cape were in place. A professional in his field, he has already started cleaning the hair of his recent client. A moment later, he thought about something. Paying attention to the chair, the man thought that he shouldn't have given advice to his client, let alone make him feel anxious. The young man looked at his hand, in which he had recently held the hair of the last client. 
After that, he looked at the phone and assumed that now the guy, most likely, will not return soon. It was already deep night outside when Dawu was already hurrying home. The young man understood that now he is not going to go. He simply will not be able to appear there. The next day, the main character woke up from the bright sun and the singing of birds. The young man turned towards the mirror and looked into it carefully. He suddenly realized that his behavior yesterday did not lead him to anything good. A moment later, the boy began to read himself. For some time, the man sat motionless on his bed, trying to digest what the doctor said had happened to him. After that, he felt his hair and realized that now he has a very short haircut. It was even difficult for him to remember the last time he walked around with such a short hairstyle. Huge curls, lush curls, growing in different directions at an incredible speed. A bonus to all this mess. As soon as someone touched the hair, he immediately went hysterical and burst into tears. He could not visit hairdressers, so he got a little haircut at home. And from childhood, he had a real nightmare on his head. But children are children. They frolic. Not everyone has hair, but the devil. So there was nothing in his hairstyle remarkable. But everything changed at school, at the beginning of the school year. The woman took her son to the hairdressers so that he would have his hair cut and he would not disgrace her, referring to the fact that he is already an adult. The master tried to start a conversation with the child and find out the reason why he is afraid to get a haircut. But the main character did not answer anything and only continued to panic, despite the fact that the hairdresser tried to calm him down all the time. He took the scissors in his hands. A professional in his field said that he would do it quickly. He took a lock of the guy's hair. He was already ready to start cutting. Da Wu remembered the moment when his hair was grabbed, and that was the reason why he was afraid to cut his hair. Every nerve tensed. It tickled, as if something crawled on the skin. The whole body twisted. He could not breathe. After that, the young man tried to break free from the master's grip, but she warned in time that she could beat him if he did not stop spinning. And she also turned to his mother and asked to hold the child. The mother carefully held her son by the shoulders, told him to sit quietly and not turn around. Upon returning home, the boy still heard the upset voice of his mother, who did not understand why her already adult son would not let anyone cut his hair. Since then, the young man no longer had to go to the hairdresser, but every morning he woke up with a strange feeling. Now he understood that the feeling that arose when he touched his hair was haunting him. After unsuccessful trips to the hairdresser, the main character decided that it would be better to cut his own hair, no matter how it turned out. But his classmates never wanted to be friends with him and always laughed at his ridiculous hairstyles, not understanding why he couldn't get a normal haircut. The young man was well aware of this, but did not dare to start a conversation with anyone, as he was afraid of being rejected. After trying on his school uniform, the protagonist suddenly thought that if he wore such a hairstyle, he might be able to make friends and lead a normal life. A moment later, he laughed at his words, realizing that it was unlikely to work, especially since no one offended him, and this was already a huge plus. Having grown up, the young man began to live alone, and his mother had a new family. Maybe that's why it wasn't so easy to find part-time work, and he didn't stay long in the places he found. The same can be said about the current place of work. Then the woman offered him a job, but it was washing dishes, to which the guy immediately agreed. Da Wu has responsibilities and official employment, especially since no one makes fun of him, and in this regard, he is very lucky. The main character went to get a haircut just to keep his job and stay there. The young man remembered the master who accepted his ego, despite the lateness of the time. After that, the guy realized that he was the hairdresser, the first person who learned about his secret. He also remembered the words of a man who said that he could consider this feature a violation of his body, although he actually, on the contrary, liked to understand when youth is good and when it is bad. Da Wu noted that his words calmed and encouraged him very much. The guy tried to understand why the man decided to help him and assumed that it could be related to the fact that he is also not like everyone else. The main character decided to stop thinking about it because he understood that at such a pace, he might not make it to work. Having gathered quickly, the young man hastened to leave the premises of his apartment. The young man ran away from the door. In order to take your headdress, 
The young man decided to wear a cap only because it seemed to him that his face was very open, and it was a reason for embarrassment. After that, the man still ran out of the apartment quickly and loudly slammed the door behind him. In the restaurant where Da Wu works, the main character quickly entered his usual establishment. Wu Ri handed the guy the phone, where information was already found on how to quickly and easily remove chewing gum from hair. A moment later, the guy who was standing next to the main character jumped from him and asked loudly what happened. The guy started questioning about the fact that their employee was wearing a cap, assuming that he still messed up his hair. The young man slowly lifted his cap to convince the others that everything was fine with his hair. He gently touched his hair and awkwardly reported that he just wasn't used to it yet. Young people froze in place from surprise. After that, each of them reported that a short haircut suits him very well. After that, the guys began to wonder where he got such a cool haircut because they also wanted to visit this interesting place. At that moment, a woman quickly began to approach them, who was also interested in what happened. Walking closer, she immediately greeted the staff, then noticed Dewu's new haircut and complimented him. Everyone quickly dispersed, and he bowed his head, informed that he would also go to get ready. The boss stood in her place and also admired the guy's new haircut. A moment later, someone called out to the guy, and he immediately reacted. Wu Ri asked for his new friend's phone number. It was very difficult for the main character, since no one had ever asked him to do this before. A young man reported that yesterday he wanted to share a link, but realized that he did not have the guy's phone number. The young man immediately came up and dictated his numbers. A moment later, he realized that this was his first contact with a colleague from work. The man was concentrating on saving a new number in his phone book. After that, Wu Ri asked for a friend's phone number and reported that for some reason it seemed to him that he would not be the first to call, but just in case, he signed himself in his phone. A young man called out to the main character, informed that he is not against it at all, so he can omit the formalities. Da Wu's reaction seemed strange to him, so the guy immediately began to make excuses and said that if he didn't want it, he wouldn't have given it. It's just that maybe he wanted it himself, but he didn't know how to say it. The main character immediately began to explain his position, saying that this was not the case at all. The young man explained that he was just for it. He was just not sure if he could do that, after which he asked to always contact him whenever he wanted or had questions. Hearing this, the young man was wildly embarrassed. Handing over the phone, the man noticed that there was a strange, friendly, and warm atmosphere around them, although he only asked for the phone number of his work colleague. Wu Ri's friends were worried that their friend had disappeared somewhere and went to look for him. I noticed two guys with phones in their hands. They were very surprised. After that, they informed that they also want to know the number of their employee. It was already late, and it was dark outside. The main character decided not to wear the cap again and simply put it with the other things. He was in a good mood after today. Da Wu was happy because now he has new numbers in the phone book, and at any moment, he can contact anyone. Wu Ri texted that they would meet next week, and the guy immediately texted him back. A moment later, something caught the boy's attention. He carefully looked at his reflection in one of the closed salons. Looking at the people who were passing by, the young man suddenly noticed that he had only changed his hairstyle and it seemed as if he had become a completely different person. Also, it was strange for the guy that no one cast sideways glances at him. Smiling, the young man realized that he was completely ordinary, although, in fact, his clothes were a little worn and old. The man tried to remember how long he hadn't updated his wardrobe. After that, he thought that since tomorrow is a day off, he could go down and buy himself something. The sun had risen a long time ago and was shining very brightly. Da Wu went to a huge shopping mall to choose clothes. The main character was very scared and embarrassed to be among all these strangers. After looking around, the young man decided that he should first look around and only then choose clothes. The man saw that posters with the idol were everywhere, absolutely everywhere he went. Staring at the poster, the guy swallowed nervously. Looking into one of the boutiques, the young man was interested to know whether the same style of clothing as the idol would suit him. A moment later, Dawu was very scared because someone put their hand on his shoulder. 
Turning around, he saw in front of him the long-known face of Tae Han. The man smiled and said that they met again. A young man got out of the shower and began to dry his hair. At some point, he became interested in knowing what his most interesting client is doing now. After that, he laughed out loud when he remembered that Da Wu is terribly afraid of hairdressers and constantly trembles when getting a haircut. The master of his craft finds some occupation worthy of attention, which is more difficult than it seems, and what at first looks interesting becomes boring the next day. Then the guy even gave up the family business and chose the current occupation only because it seemed a little more interesting, but it quickly got boring. Although at first it was really great, and he thought that he was bringing beauty, this is the best work. Thanks to his connections, he even collaborated with idols, believing that it would be very fun. But all this quickly got boring and took on ordinary colors. Then the group broke up, and only one member was lucky enough to succeed as an actor, and he closed the studio.